Good morning, everybody. Previous class, we already explained the types of numbers. Did you study? First one is natural numbers or counting numbers. Second one is whole numbers. And third one is integers. And fourth one is rational numbers. Today, we will explain the symbolization of the numbers. Now, first one is natural numbers. Natural numbers, you know, the collection of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are represented by the symbol, capital letter L. Natural numbers are represented by the symbol L. Then second one is, you know, whole numbers. Whole numbers. You know, collection of natural numbers including zero are called the whole numbers. This, the whole number is represented by the symbol W. The third one is integers. Integers. Integers represented by the symbol is represented by the symbol is it said come from the German word Salad. It said A H L E N Salad. The meaning is a German word. From the word we take the symbolization of integers that is it said come from the German word Salad. And Salad that means to count. Meaning is to count. The integers are represented by the symbol Isser. Then fourth one is rational numbers. Rational numbers. It is represented by the symbol Q. That is come from the word quotient. Where P and Q are integers and it is in the form P by Q rational number. That is come from the word quotient. It's the rational numbers are symbolized by the symbol Q. Natural numbers are represented by the symbol N and whole numbers are represented by the symbol W. Integers are represented by the symbol Z and rational numbers are represented by Q. Integers, the Z is come from the German word salen. The meaning of salen is to count. Okay, this is the symbolization of the given numbers, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. Okay, next, you know how you have to represent these numbers on a number like It is only a recording day, you already studied. How we can represent natural numbers on a number like Natural numbers. on a number line. How? Natural numbers means only here we are having only the positive numbers are there. So we have to represent the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Representation of natural numbers on a number line. Okay, only the positive numbers are there. Second one, whole numbers. The representation of whole numbers on a number like whole numbers. Whole numbers. Natural numbers including zero. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, etc. That is representation of whole numbers on a number like. The third one is integers. Integers means collection of negative numbers, zero and positive numbers. How we can represent integers on a number line? Integers. Here, middle, zero, positive numbers, one, two, three, four, etc. Left, we can get the minus one, minus two, etc. This way we can represent integers on a number line. This way we can represent all numbers on a number line. Next, rational numbers. Rational 
numbers. On a number line. How we can draw the number line? Here, zero, one, two, three. Now two numbers. Okay. Between zero and one, you know there is ten divisions are there. The middle number we can pass one by two. Okay. Here one and two. This is one point by that is three by two. This will be the represent rational numbers on a number line. This one means you already studied the previous classes. First one is how we can represent natural numbers on a number line. Natural numbers. One more time. Natural numbers. One, two, three, four, etc. This is the representation of natural numbers on a number line. Okay. Then this is whole numbers. I hope we can represent whole numbers on a number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Then integers. Integers are we? Zero, positive numbers and negative numbers. Then how we can represent rational numbers on a number line? The number line, the rational numbers means the integers, sorry, natural numbers, whole numbers and integers are there. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Natural numbers are there. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Whole numbers are there. And also, including the rational number 1 by 2, 3 by 2, etc. Okay? This is a representation of types of numbers on a number line that you have already said. Next one is is zero is a rational number. Is zero is a rational number? A zero is a rational number why? Because zero can be written the form zero by what? That is equal to the form which form p by two. We have given out equal to 0, therefore 0 is a rational number. Is minus 2 is a rational number? Second question. Is minus 2 is a rational number? Is minus 2 is a rational number? Yes, minus 2 is a rational number because minus 2 can be written for minus 2 by 1. Is in the form p by 2, where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 are called a rational numbers. Yes, minus 2 is a rational number. But 0 is a rational number, minus 2 is a rational number, and also 2 is a rational number. So, the conclusion already we explained natural numbers, whole numbers, and all integers are rational numbers. Next thing that you already studied in the 8th class, let us also record in the how many rational numbers lie between any two rational numbers? Between any two rational numbers, you studied infinitely many rational numbers are there. Okay, infinitely many rational numbers are there. Here, if two rational numbers, two is a rational number, you know, and three is a rational number. That's the between rational number between this. We can find out from EC method that you already said. If we can find out between two and three, there are how many rational numbers are there? We can find out infinitely many rational numbers are there. Example, we can example. Find out 5 rational numbers between 2 and 3. Find 5 rational numbers between 2 and 3. We can find out how many. How find 5 rational numbers 
between two and three. This is another view. How you can find it? Here we can find out five rational numbers between two and three. Here we are getting n is equal to. Now we can find out the five rational numbers. That means it has n is equal to five. Then we can find out the n plus one that is equal to five plus one that is equal to six. Then which are the rational numbers here we get? Between two and three. Two we can write the form two by one. Three we can write the rational form three by one. We can find out five rational numbers between two and three. Here five we can now say then n plus one that is equal to five plus one that is equal to six. We have to multiply the numerator and the denominator of these two rational numbers by this six. Okay, first rational number two by one we can multiply the numerator two into six by one into six that is equal to twelve by six. Second number is three three by one multiply the numerator three into six. By one into six, that is equal to six three is eighty by six. Okay, that is two become twelve by six, and the three become eighteen by six. You have to multiply the numerator and denominator. I will the same number. There is no value change. Cut the right to the middle. Okay, then the rational number become twelve by six and eighteen by six. Then we can write. Five rational numbers between twelve by six and eighteen by six are five rational number between between twelve by six and eighteen by six are twelve by six. Next rational number is thirteen by six. Then fourteen by six. Then fifteen by six. Then sixteen by six. Then seventeen by six. These are the five rational numbers between these two given rational numbers two and three. This way we can find out infinitely many rational numbers between given two rational numbers. Okay, one more thing I explain. The given two numbers are two and three. We want to find out the five rational numbers between these two and three. We can get n is equal to five. Then we can find out n plus one. Add one to n. That is five plus one. That is equal to six. Then we have to multiply the numerator and denominator of the given rational number by this n plus one. That is six. We get a twelve by six. Here we get a eighteen by six. Then you can find out. We can find out the five rational numbers between these two given rational numbers are thirteen by six, fourteen by six. By six, sixteen by six, and then seventeen by six. This way, we can find out infinitely many rational numbers between given two rational numbers. I think okay. You already studied eighth class of this ten problem. Here we are using this formula n is equal to the given number. We want to find out the numbers that we take as n. Then find out the n plus one. Multiply the numerator and denominator of the given rational number by this n plus one. We will get the new rational numbers. Okay, that's the multiple of the given rational number. Then we can find out the between rational numbers. Okay. Then next class we will take the next. That's the first exercise of this lesson. Okay. All of you read and study the textbook introduction thoroughly. Understood everybody? Okay. Thank you.